Professor Liu has just been appointed the new head of Murray College, one of the new colleges slated to open in the next school year. Professor Liu, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, you're so welcome. First, let's get an idea of a little bit of your background, who you are and how you're coming to Yale. Okay, so my personal history is that I grew up in um, Houston, Texas, and then I spent uh, 10 years getting degrees at another university in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, MIT. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then I taught at Penn for 10 years, and I, this is my ninth year at Yale, and I have um, served as DUS and DGS of this department, and this is my fourth year as chair. What kind of experience in residential college life and kind of being this head of this brand new community do you have that you think you might be able to bring to the table? Well, there's a, a variety of different things. One is definitely my experience at Yale and U.S. a few semesters ago, uh, where we did not live on campus, but we had the wonderful experience of basically being in a brand new institution. Um, my husband and I were resident faculty in one of the Penn residences for four years, and before that, our first home as a couple was um, uh, one of the houses at that unnamed university in Cambridge, <laughs> Massachusetts. I find it really interesting that both you and Professor Baylor were at Yale and U.S. during those founding years. Would you say that those are formative for you? You know, I mean, I wouldn't say it's formative because I don't want to put my contribution to Yale and U.S. in any, I don't want to compare it in any way to Professor Balin's. But I will say that the idea of like walking around the construction site and thinking like, this is going to be so cool, is something that Professor Balin and I share and maybe not that many other Yale faculty members share. You're not only are you one of the first women of color to head a college, you're also one of the first Asian American women to head a college. What mindset are you coming in understanding that there's a lot of representation here? Honestly, as a woman of color, there are all sorts of personally meaningful things about um, being chosen to head Murray College. Um, and in a lot of ways, a lot of them are, are so obvious that they don't need to be said. We're all looking for ways in which we ourselves can contribute what we are, you know, what we've experienced. How does being a woman of color affect your scholarship? Because Polly Murray, as we know, is a, like, a woman of color working in a predominantly male light world. There is real strength in being an outsider. You know, when you go into a text and you are listening as hard as you can, part of what you hear is unique to you. And that doesn't mean that it wasn't in the text in the first place, but it is something that you bring to the text. And so, like, I think on a broader level, that's also true of what we all bring to Yale College, you know, um, what we are, what we have been through. I think that's actually really beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. So really quickly, we've got a nice little fun bit. Okay, uh, fun bit. Make a one minute pitch to prospective students <laughs> and prospective incoming students for to transfer to Murray College. There are obvious things, proximity to Ingalls Ring, proximity to Science Hill, um, uh, but you're gonna have, um, there's gonna be a really cute puppy in the college. Um, uh, and also the rooms are gonna be awesome. Uh, and um, uh, uh, I really cannot come up with more of a pitch than that. You know, <laughs> like, I think it's gonna be great to be part of something new. And it's gonna be something that you can tell your kids about. It's gonna be a real experience. That really sucked. That no, really that was great. That was fantastic. <laughs> you, you had me at the word puppy. What do you think about potential traditions for the college? We were we did a walk through um, Charles, Rebecca, Stewart, and I did a walk through of the site last week, and we were like, there we have got to do a tug of war in the tunnel between Polly Murray and Benjamin Franklin because it is such a tug of war tunnel. Yale may not want to deal with the liability on that one. Thank you so much again, Professor Lou, for sitting down with us. It was really a pleasure talking to you. And thank you so much for coming over. 
from all of us here at YTV, this has been Everybody Has a Story. Thank you so much for watching. See you around. How do you plan on addressing the controversy and Franklin's history? You know, he is undeniably white and male. Uh, I gather there has been uh, some notice taken of the fact that Benjamin is not the only Franklin who got a honorary degree from 